See, as far as uh, online class are concerned, I think uh, it has had a you know a negative impact uh, on, on so many uh, aspects. But I think the most uh, you know prominent one, as far as you know our child was concerned, was uh, you know the lack of confidence. Because you know this was something which we did not kind of see initially, but then you know over a period of time when you had extended lockdowns, etc., you know suddenly uh, you know you could see this uh, you know this confidence levels coming down. And I think uh, for me, apart from all the distractions, you know the uh, lack of motivations, etc., I think this has been the most prominent you know negative impact of online uh, you know overexposed, I would say, to online education. Yeah, I think uh, as I mentioned, you know by the time uh, we went through all this, you know. Uh, covid related disruptions and uh, online uh, class etc i think we had seen it long enough to understand all the you know negativities attached to it so there's very little we could do at that point in time you know we were just waiting uh, for an opportunity of course after weighing the risks waiting for an opportunity to get the child back to you know some semblance of normalcy so and i think uh, that's the main reason that we opted for you know offline uh, as early as possible to start with i think the teachers are all you know very well qualified and uh, more than that, uh, you know, what uh, distinct, you know, uh, this thing that we saw was, uh, I mean, when you look at the way the te teachers were interacting with the kids, uh, I thought it was more of a, you know, a coach-player kind of a relationship where uh, the teachers were always there, you know, kind of egging on uh, the, ch the children and the kind of ambience that you see uh, inside, I think it's very unique. And um, I think uh, they're all basically very passionate about what they're doing. And I think all these uh, things would uh, do a, you know, a lot of good uh, to the, uh, the ch children. No, I think, um, you know, it's been a pleasant surprise when we first uh, visited this place. Uh, frankly, it came as a, you know, a breath of uh, fresh air, if I would say. Uh, you know, the kind of uh, infrastructure which is there in, uh, in place, uh, the kind of arrangements which are there, uh, the whole uh, approach that we saw in Brain Loop, it was completely different and uh, frankly, this is something which you've never seen earlier. And I think uh, it was, you know, something which we thought uh, would really do a lot of good uh, to our child. Uh, because as I said, because of all this, you know, COVID related issues, uh, you know, lack of confidence and things like that, uh, the kind of uh, ambience which was there uh, in the institute, I think it was uh, quite superb and that's the reason we thought, uh, you know, we'll go with uh, Brain Loop. And definitely 100% because I think, uh, especially for, you know, teenage children, uh, I think it's a must that they should experience something like this because it will do a lot of good to their, uh, you know, confidence levels, you know, their overall uh, outlook uh, to life and uh, as I said, you know, it's, it's, it's a personality development which I think they should never uh, miss out on. Thank you.